seen where people's asked if it was my sister and I actually got to hear little girl's heartbeat yesterday for the first time. I mean. Charles, need help? He's making it long spot. For his chicken, right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right here, for his chicken. But this is my chicken, I'm putting my own stuff Good job, Charles. <laughs> Proud of you. What the heck is that? Pepper. Pepper. Oh my gosh. It looks like a mouse. <laughs> it, it, it makes it spicy. Have you tried it yet? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I made my, I made, Charlie made one hour with Charlie. Are you in here making a mess? Yeah. Hello, good evening, late evening. It's the first clip I was showing you. The boys were in there making me dinner. I actually didn't know that, but they were in there frying chicken and it was just so cute that I wanted to catch that clip of them frying chicken and stuff like that. And then next thing you know, Charles and Caleb come in here. My nephew Charles and my son Caleb, if you don't know came in here with a plate of fried chicken. They told me they boiled the chicken. They made sure they cooked it for a long time to make sure there was no pink in there, that it was really, really done. And then made that piece of chicken for me and put some strawberries on it. I forgot to vlog that little part, so I put it up on Instagram. I'll post the picture here that I posted on Instagram. I'm not much of a meat eater. There's no reason of why I'm not much of a meat eater. I've just never been much of a meat eater. I'm more of a side eater. I'm just, I don't know. I'm never been, I mean, I can eat some steak. I can eat some chicken, but I just rather not. Only when I'm in the mood, like I can eat chicken Alfredo and eat the chicken in it. But most of the time I still don't eat the chicken in it. I might take little pieces out of it. But anyways, I eat the skin and some of the chicken. Oh my gosh. That chicken tastes so freaking good. They really did a good job. Like, I'm not even joking. They did such a good job. I am so proud of them. But I wanted to get on here because, for one, I planned out pulling up my fall decorations to do that today, but it's getting kind of late and Travis is out hunting, so I don't know if I'm going to actually pull out my fall stuff and get that done tonight. We might just do that tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday. Yesterday, I actually was on Amazon and I wanted to get some maternity dresses, like, I've been so comfortable in just wearing dresses and no like pants or anything like that around my waist. It just feels more comfortable. So yesterday I got on Amazon, ordered it, and one of my dresses came in. I will definitely stand up and show you guys here in a minute. So I put that on and I was like, well, I'm going to try to do my hair. And I forgot yesterday also I put um, a bunch of coconut oil in my hair because my hair's been really dry. I got it trimmed and everything, but I... We'll take coconut oil sometimes to just cake it in my hair my hair i don't know if you can tell on here it's shiny but i will cake it on my hair and then just throw it up in a bun so when i took it down i forgot but it still worked out it curled up a little bit and yeah so i decided to just play with my hair and play with my makeup my makeup my brows i really wish that i could get microbladed right now but definitely after i have the baby i'll probably do some microblading because i really 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 want some thick full eyelash or thick little blah I really want some thick full eyebrows but right now we just gotta do what we gotta do also I want to jump on here because yesterday I went to the doctors it was Friday yeah yesterday well first let me just start here yesterday we had to go lay my nephew's mom down to rest I actually had to leave early I didn't get to make it to the part you know where they lay her down to rest i had a doctor's appointment so i had to leave early i do want to say she is not my sister it is my brother's baby mama or the mother of, of his kids but it's not my sister but i've known her since she was really young my brother and her were together when they were younger had charles and i've always been there to help raise the boys whenever Pamela's had them for a long time. I would always be there to take them. There's been situations where I've had to go through court and get them out of sticky situations, just stuff like that, that I don't want to get into on here. Um, my nephews are definitely my number one fan on YouTube. They love to watch my YouTube channel and they're 
the first ones to watch my channel, which I love so much. They love that they get to watch me and when they're not with me, they get to see what we're doing and stuff like that. But if the boys had it their way, they'd be with me all the time. But naturally, because I've had them, basically I've had them since they've been little. Like my brother and Pam lived with me whenever Charles came into the world and stuff like that. And it's always been back and forth. The past few years, my brother has had his kids and they've just gone through a lot in life and now they're dealing with this stuff that's going on and it's nothing like I've ever been through in my life with a death so I don't know how to navigate it and I'm just trying to learn to navigate it and just be strong for them because my nephews to me are like my kids like I love them no different I love my nephews so much if I could have them all the time I would but I just want to make that clear. I've seen where people's ask if it was my sister. No, it's not my sister, but I've known Pam since she was young and she was a sister to me regardless of the blood or anything like that. Still treated her like a sister, sometimes better than my brother. She's lived with me even when my brother and her weren't together. I've always taken care of her. I've always helped out and just stuff like that. We've always been there for each other. Just everything. She's just some people go down different paths and it is what it is and that's what we're dealing with now. And then I had my doctor's appointment. I had to leave the funeral and go to my doctor's appointment. Me and Gracie went and I actually got to hear little girl's heartbeat yesterday for the first time. I mean, yeah, well, the last time it was on ultrasound and all it was just, just showing her heartbeat. But this time I actually got to hear her heartbeat and Gracie actually got a video of it on the phone. So I'll pop that little clip in here. It might take a minute. It's probably after a long search for it. I can usually find it. Love you, baby. Yeah. so funny because she said it might take a little bit to find her heartbeat because it was the first time and she put it right on there and found it. And then I did blood work, which Gracie recorded that too. like HIV, all the other, like a bunch of blood work. And then I go sometime, maybe next week to go get the genetic testing done. And also my doctor wants to confirm that it's a girl with their blood work. So that'll be coming up too. So we can actually confirm that it's a girl. And another issue I've been having is my doctor put me on, ooh, let me get it, Colace because I've had problems using the restroom and usually I take Miralax. When I was super, super sick, the Miralax wouldn't stay down. It was making me just throw it back up. So she tried the Colace, which it was working at first and now it's been like five or six days since I've used the restroom, you know, like go poop, TMI, but I went ahead and took two of these yesterday because you can take three of them, but I'm a weirdo and only take one and I take it at nighttime. I freak myself out about medicines. But anyways, I took two of them last night and then the doctor told me to go ahead and try Miralex again since I'm feeling better. And before I got pregnant, I was drinking so many smoothies and I would always mix the Miralex in it, Miralax or whatever in it. Before I got pregnant, that's what I did and it worked out great. But now that I'm pregnant, it's been totally worse where like I feel like I can't poop at all for, for nothing. And I know like some of the nausea medicines, which I haven't even really been taken, will make you constipated. But I went ahead today and made me a smoothie and tried it again and it kind of put me down because for one, the taste of it reminded me of when I was really, really sick and puking a lot. And for two, the Miralax gets my stomach all like, it feels bloated almost where it makes me feel really, really sick. So hopefully it'll kick in. Sometimes it takes a day before Miralax kicks in, but we'll see. Hopefully it works though, because I'm tired of it. It definitely got a bump. I'll show you guys, but also I'm very, very constipated too. So regardless, I'm still going to have a bump. I am almost 14 weeks and my doctor also said I will most likely be induced. I've never went into labor on my own. I've always been induced. And the reason being is because my kids like to never come out of my belly. They're, they just enjoy being up there. I can never, ever have a baby on my own. I don't know what it is. I really wanted to go in labor with Matthew on my own. That didn't happen. I actually went up to my due date with him and he was like, 
nine pounds and something a week before I had him he was like nine pounds and something and it was freaking me out and I didn't want to have a 10 pound baby so they end up inducing me with Matthew and then this one right here I told her I really like to experience going into labor on my own because I've never done it and she said chances are I will be induced because when I go to have my kids they come out super super fast that they don't want me to be at home and then just go into labor and not make it to the hospital so she said chances are I will be induced but still I'm gonna try my best just to do it on my own it'd just be real cool to be at home you know what if I don't make it to the hospital I've done had five kids I think I can do it on my own until an ambulance came you think I don't know anyways um I keep looking off if you notice like I'll look off I'm thinking about what I wanted to say to you guys as I was getting ready I was thinking I have so much I need to catch you guys up on and say and do and blah 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 so I'm sitting here rambling a lot so you're gonna listen to me talk a lot for a minute just because I have so much to say but I have my nephews with me and we're gonna do fall stuff and there's gonna be so much like I don't even know like I don't know We've been looking for fall break, going to Florida, Panama. I really wanna go somewhere like now. I'm ready to get out of this house. I've been sick, I've been cooped up in here. I'm ready to do something. Yeah, so let's go ahead. My face looks so pale because I don't go outside and get no sun, I look crazy. But let's, um, I guess I'll show you guys the dress and what it looks like. Also, my nephew Charles, after making me that dinner, made me a dessert. So I love these little, um, they're little banana puddings that are from Walmart and he added a touch of like looks like strawberries he said edible cookie dough cereal stuff like that so I'm gonna try his little creation because he took the time to make it he's been pampering me checking up on me he's just been taking care of me I was in the bathroom getting ready and he kept coming in and be like are you okay do you need anything he's just so sweet that is one thing that his mom did so well as that she raised him to be such a gentleman and he's such a good-hearted person like Charles is he's my big baby let's go out here and see what the boys are doing and I'll show you this dress the boys are in the rough housing so I'm gonna try to figure out a way I guess to show you guys the dress it's a little crazy out there you can probably hear him right now listen they're being crazy but anyways I guess I can I guess turn you guys I can turn you guys around here but here's the poochy belly this is a maternity dress, so I guess it can just grow with me, which I'm very happy about. It's very comfortable. I feel like I can't breathe already, but yeah. I wonder after I use the restroom if it'll go down some, but we'll see. Also, this hole right here is from the doorknob when it used to not be covered by all this. I believe or when we rented this house out, the rental person slammed it into the wall and yeah. We've tried, actually, if you could tell, it's been a, it was a lot bigger. Let's try to go to the side. It was a lot bigger hole, and we fixed it, and then it got pushed in there again. So, that's what's going on in that. So, it kind of looks weird when I'm doing this. But, yeah, there she is. This part right here is probably poop. And this part right here is baby. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> feels so weird. I never thought I'd be doing this again, but here I am doing it again. Yeah, yeah. And the dress goes down, if you can see. It goes down there. It's very comfortable. I wanted a lot of like comfortable dresses. <sighs> so yeah. Me and Charles came outside. Well, everybody followed. Let me show you guys. Look at the baby goat we have. This is mama and this is baby. Hi honey. It's actually Matthew's old bestie. You'll catch him outside playing together, doing stuff. Me and Charles came out here to take pictures of me in this dress, I guess. So, we're trying to figure something out. Look. Look at the cuties. They're all getting so friendly now. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Travis has the whole backyard like farm like that. We don't know what we're gonna do here. I guess we can try right here, Charles. Oh, yeah. I'll stand right here. Look okay right here. Are this, is it sticking the way? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You just take whatever and we'll just take a bunch of them. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a chicken over there. I don't know what to do. 
We'll try this side. I feel more comfortable on this side. The goat. <laughs> I don't know, how many, I just took what I took a lot. Thank you. See, this goat thinks that you're the parent now. It's jumped all the way up here just to be up here with Maddie. It's the sweetest thing. Look, and it's still the bilco cord still hanging. Baby. It loves you, Maddie. Be careful. Look, look, look. It follows Matthew everywhere. Be careful. Let me get him down. Let, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now we're gonna take some of them together. I take wow, look at Kale, put it down. What? The mom's about to beat you. Okay. Yeah, it looks cool like that. Ready? Look at the goat trying to get up there with them. One, two, three. Make whatever poses you want. I'll just take a bunch. All right, we got pictures. Right? <laughs> that goat, she's so independent, or he, whatever. That mom's like so confused, huh? I try to pet her. Hi, baby. That mom is always scared. It's her baby. Bye, Bubba. Okay, guys. I didn't pick up the camera after we were taking pictures and stuff like that. Whew. I was just out back with Travis helping him feed the animals. Huh. I got the TV on, fan on, lights off. We're all about to go to bed. It is 9:10, and I will be up in the morning. I'll take you guys somewhere. If I wear this dress, I just put it on and went to sleep in it. So don't judge me if you see it on me again tomorrow. I highly doubt though I'll wear it. I won't feel I won't feel comfortable enough to be in public in it. So I'll probably wear some scrubby clothes if I end up going out with Travis and all them and doing whatever. So we're going to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good thing about this body is there's only sunlight for a short amount of time. Right there. You also realize you don't need a vacuum like that's portable. I have a plug-in like you can plug uh, in a normal vacuum. No, but that vacuum is just handy so I figured instead of selling it Lisa said she charged it but it's still red so. Oh, then they probably don't work. Those batteries were took back and but anyways, I'll find a better. Next day. Huh? I said talking to my camera. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Me and Dad come over here for oh. Travis to clean my van that he's already oh, ruined. Yeah, he ruined good. it. My dad told me to give the van back. Why? Because it's pointless. Well, I took it on a long trip today. I know, I guarantee you did. Did good. But look what Travis has done. Looks cleared out. Matthew, where are you going? So. Look at that area right there, Daryl. One day. Not even a whole day because they broke out. What are you doing up there? Huh? Are you up on a rock? Huh? Spider-Man? I think they Came home sick, but been watching and the shot is now up, a body found where Gabby Petito's surgeon yeah, is underway and why we do not The live footage right now on my phone and on the TV, because they just found a, whoa, I don't want it that close, because they just found a body for the missing Gabby and I've been invested in this since it's been going on and they're about to do a live conference, so I'm waiting to see if that comes on. But I came home, I don't feel good. I had to go over there to Travis, but other than that, he had my van already a mess, so I had them clean that out. Besides, they're gonna come home and finish it because I just did not feel good. I had the shakes. Something was going on where I wasn't feeling good. So I came home, laid down. I actually ate, took the shakes away, but my stomach still hurts, I think, because I've been trying to use the restroom to poop so bad that I've upset my stomach from the stuff I've had to take and drink. Hopefully when Travis gets here, we'll pull out the fall stuff. I'll probably end this video because it's probably gonna be super long for me just talking a lot. And then I am, if we get the fall stuff out tonight, I will start a new video. But right now I'm going to try to keep updated on this stuff and just hope for the best as everybody is invested into this story. I just hope for the best outcome. Right now I'm gonna lay down, try to feel better. 
wait for Travis and them to come here, watch this, start a new video. In this one, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always being supportive. Thank you for all your comments and likes and thanks for being here and thanks for sticking by me and everything. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.